We have all been there, facing a tangled mess of rope, just when you need it the most. In this video, we will cover 5 different ways to coil and pack your rope, so you never have to deal with tangled messes again. Whether you are prepping for a camping trip or organizing gear, this method will help keep your rope neat and ready to use. First up, the finger figure 8. This method is perfect for shorter ropes or when you need to pack in tight spaces. For this demo, I'm using a 4mm thick 4m long rope. Start by tying a simple overhand knot at one end of the rope. Next, make a welcome salute with your hand, placing the overhand knot between your middle and index fingers. Now, loop the rope between your thumb and pinky fingers, creating a figure 8 pattern as you alternate the loops around your fingers. This helps prevent the rope from twisting on itself. Keep looping until you have about an arm's length of the rope left. Then, remove the coil rope from your thumb and pinky fingers, and begin the wrapping process like this. Continue wrapping until you have about one foot of the rope remaining. Now, make an X around the coils with the remaining rope. Slide your finger out of the X, then pass the end of the rope under the X and pull it tight to secure the bundle. There you go. You have now got a neatly coil rope in a compact size, perfect for storing in your bag or hanging it like this for easy access. And when you are ready to use the rope, remember the simple overhand knot we tied at the beginning? Just pull the tail end, and the rope will unravel smoothly, without tangles. Your rope is ready to go. Next up, the elbow coiling method. A lot of people simply coil the rope around their elbow like this, but when they go to use it, it often ends up in a tangle mess. Let me show you a better way to do it. Start by wrapping the rope from your thumb to your elbow, but this time, use the same figure 8 motion we used before, just on a larger scale. This prevents the rope from tightening too much, keeping it tangle free and ready to use. I'm doing it slow in this demo, but once you get the hang of it, you will be able to do it much faster, like this. Look at that, tangle free. Now, once you have finished coiling the rope, you can create a hanging loop for the easy storage. Watch closely. Take the loose end and form a loop like this, holding it against the coil. Next, make a bite, feed it through the loop we just created, and pull it tight. Once it is secure, make the loop smaller. Now, take the remaining rope, form another loop, and twist it one more time and engulf the previous loop, pulling it tight to lock everything in place. Turn the coil around. If you see two horizontal ropes and two vertical ropes, then you have done it correctly. Now you have a neat tangle-free coil that you can easily hang for quick access. Now, Let's move on to the next method. A lot of people coil their rope like this, and most of the time, it will get tangled. Here is a better way, positive and negative coiling. Start the first loop like you normally would. This is your positive coil. For the second loop, twist it like this. This is your negative coil. The third coil goes back to positive and the fourth goes negative. The key is to alternating the direction of each loop. This prevents the rope from twisting on itself and keeps it tangle free. One of the benefits of this technique is that you can control the size of the coil, making it as big or as small as you need. But keep in mind, this method is a bit slower than other methods. And just like with the previous method, 
When you are done calling, you can create the hanging loop for easy storage. Next is one of my favorite, the both hand figure 8 method, or as I like to call it, the Dragon Ball Goku slash Tai Chi method. First, grab one end of the rope with your right hand, then lay the rope over your left wrist like this. While still holding the tail end with your right hand, pass it under the rope, forming an egg shape. Repeat this motion. As you can see, it is almost like Goku performing his Kamehameha. That's why I call it the Goku method. At the end, just like before, you can create a hanging loop for easy storage. This method is also great for longer or thicker ropes. Right now, I'm using a 10mm thick, 30 meter long climbing rope. Notice how I can still make large loops while using the same Goku Tai Chi method. Now, here is an alternative way to finish wrapping the rope for easy storage. First, take the loose end of the rope and form a bite. Hold it here, against the coil. Then, take the remaining rope and wrap it around the coils, working towards the bite. Once you have got just a little loop left, fit the end through the loop you just made. And snug it down. Now you can place it on top of your backpack like this. And when you are ready to use it, just pull the tail end. And as you can see, zero tangles. Your climbing rope is ready to go. At last, the daisy chain, aka chain sinet, perfect for storing long rope without tangling. Start by taking the middle and both ends of the rope. Make a slip knot. Then pass your hand through the loop. Now pull a bite through the loop you just made. Forms the first link in the chain. Repeat this process. Pull a bite through each new loop until you have chained the entire loop. This may take a while. Depends on how long your loop is. Let me fast forward here. To finish, simply pull the last loop and lock your daisy chain knot in place. That's it! A neat and tangle free way to store your rope. To deploy your rope, just untie the last loop, then give it a shake. The chain will unravel in seconds, leaving your rope tangle free and ready to use. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome. See you in the next round.